Hey, you, uh, got a sec? Of course, Nick. What's up? I wouldn't normally bother you with this sort of thing, but, uh, well, I know I can trust you at this point. For as long as I can remember, I've been getting these, uh, flashes. Memories of places I've never been. Things I've never seen. Memories of Nick's. They're not bad, they're just, um, they're just this inescapable reminder that I'm not the person I think I am, that I'm not a person at all. I'm just a machine, pretending to be human. You think, you feel, you're more than pretending, Nick. Yeah, nice of you to say, but your kind don't usually have to deal with someone else's whole life trapped inside their skulls. Don't get me wrong. I know I'm in Nick's debt. These memories, they've, they've kept me alive. Nick was a hell of a cop. A guy with good instincts and a good heart. I always counted myself lucky they didn't load me up with some ex-con. Or whatever type might volunteer to let folks tinker with their gray matter. But it's thanks to Nick that I pass for human. Why I get to live cushy in Diamond City and every other synth is shot on sight. I know I got it good, but my entire life I owe to Nick. Everything that makes me who I am, my judgment, my speech, hell, even my name, they're his. And I can't do a damn thing about it because without them, without them I'm nothing, a shell. All I want is a life where I have something I can call my own. Sounds like the Minutemen may be getting back on their feet. You've already built a life for yourself, Nick. You've got the agency, a home, friends. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You know, I, I'm just going to need some time to think on this. I appreciate you hearing me out. You're, you're a real good friend. Thanks. You know, there is this chunk of Nick Valentine history I've been hoping to put a bow on for a while now. I could use a hand if you're willing to take a crack at it. Sure thing. What's the case? Well, this one's straight out of the archives. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime. Eddie Winter. He was a bad man who did a lot of bad things. Hurt a lot of innocent people. But he knew the end was coming, so he sealed himself inside a personal shelter, located underneath the sub shop he used as a headquarters. Eddie Winter was from my time. Pfft, real scumbag. The story gets even more twisted. The arrogant bastard wanted to cheat death, live forever, so he could come out of that shelter someday into this brave new world. Sound familiar? Only Eddie didn't want to be a frozen banana. No cryo sleep for him, no. He invested his money in some sick, crazy radiation experiment. Jeez, you've really done your homework on this guy. I have. And I uncovered a doozy. Eddie Winter went and turned himself into a ghoul. 200 years before it was fashionable. Hell, he was probably the first one. And I'm convinced that he's still locked inside that shelter. Safe and sound. Ready to come out and begin his evil reign all over again. I'm gonna find him and kill him, so that never happens. You in? All right, Nick. Let's get the bad guy. You're a good man. Now, I know where Winter's vault is, but the door is sealed with a complex numerical code. Lucky for us, Winter's arrogance knew no bounds. Back in the day, he recorded ten holotapes, incriminating different criminal associates. On each one, he hit a single number. We find all of those holotapes, we get all the numbers. We get all the numbers, we get the code. And then we get Winter. I've been putting together a file on this one for a while now. There's a pair of holotapes in here worth listening to. Uh, including one of Winters that I managed to snatch from the Cambridge Police Evidence Lockup before getting swarmed by ferals. 
On my way out the door, I spotted an active evidence terminal. I'll bet my hat that terminal is the key to finding the rest of the tapes. Probably worth revisiting any police departments you may have stumbled across in your travels as well. Now, I've seen a lot of crazy stuff in my time, but a flying ship? <laughs> Yowza! Holy moly, the silver shroud in the flesh! Oh no! Death is a hey. player and good neighbor. The deed is Hello, done. The dreaded Sinjin breathes no more. All by your lonesome, you took down the big bad Sinjin. We get to walk that tightrope of freedom one more day. Take this for the effort. You played your part in serving justice to those most deserving of it. I'm gonna miss these little conversations. Ah, Ken, my man. Why the long face? You got what you wanted. I was t tortured. Almost died. It's not like the radio plays at all. Hey, who hasn't been tortured from time to time? The price of throwing down with the man is always a few scars. Pick yourself up. Good neighbor's just a bit safer thanks to the two of you. What would the Shroud be without his faithful friend, Red Reinhardt? This... this means a lot to me. I'm gonna need some time to heal, you know? But then I got a special project in mind, just for you. I'll fire up my radio station if I make any progress. Try chess. Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. Keep that in mind.